What could walking on two legs have to do with small canine teeth in these earliest hominids? One possible explanation comes from studies of primate behavior and anatomy. In Artipithecus, the canines have dramatically reduced, and this tells you that somehow there's been a major change in social behavior. In all other primates, males use their canine teeth as weapons to threaten and fight with each other. They fight over females, who show visible signs that they're ovulating. Male Artipithecus canines are greatly reduced, like ours. If male canines are reducing, it means that females are choosing males with smaller canines. What could a male be doing that would make a female want that to have the offspring of that male rather than those of a more competitive, more aggressive male? One possible answer is that by pairing with males who were dependable sources of food, females had more time and energy to devote to their youngsters and to have more of those offspring during their lifetimes. This is what winning the evolutionary sweepstakes is all about, reproduction and survival. The formation of what scientists call a pair bond between males and females would have been based on the exchange of food and sex. With this kind of system, males could have foraged separately from females and their infants. The all-important reproductive advantage would have gone to those males who collected and carried high-value foods to their mates and their dependent young whom they likely fathered. Natural selection would have favored those who could walk farther on two legs, carrying food more effectively. Males with smaller canines, pair bonds reinforced by regular sex, carrying and sharing of food. Could these be the keys to the evolution of bipedality?